Hi class, I want to take a couple minutes here to talk about layers and elevations. Uh, for elevations and similar drawings like sections or details, the layers are a little bit less about um, organizing the information uh, so that you can create different views, although you might do that sometime as well. It's mainly about line weights and creating a visual hierarchy in your drawing. So when we do elevations, let me open the CAD standard, um, IDCAD standards here, we're going to use this group of layers, the A, E, L, E, V, and then whatever afterwards, um, to create these different line weights in our drawing. So let me go back into CAD here. What I have right now is I've just drawn the entire elevation on layer 0. But what we want to do is we want to start putting it onto different layers um, to get the effect that we want to get. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outer perimeter and I'm going to put this on the heaviest line weight um, and that's, let me go into home here, going to be the outline, E-L-E-V outline. And really when you're deciding what layer things go on. They, we do have the descriptions that are given to us in the CAD standards, but what you really want to think about is what you're drawing. These lines, this perimeter line, represents the, the ceiling, the floor, the walls, and these are things that we would be cutting through basically when we're creating an elevation view. So we want that to be the heaviest line. If we had something that we were cutting through, let's say we were cutting through the side of a cabinet here, and we'll have that um, happen in the kitchen elevations, that would also be in that heavy line weight. But in this case, it's just going to be the outside perimeter. Now, the next sort of um, heaviest line weight is going to be the outline of the casework. So again, you just have to kind of think about what it is that you're drawing. So the, the edge of the counter is going to protrude out in front of the, the um, cabinet here a little bit. So I'm going to put that on that layer. I'm also going to put the line that demarks the edge of the cabinet on that layer. So I'm going to put that one on the e A E L E V case layer. And that's going to give us kind of the next um, heaviest line weight. Now I'm also going to do that for the edge of the mirror here because that is also um, giving us this edge um, effect here. So let me select these four lines and put those on the case layer. Now we're going to have a whole bunch of lines that go on um, kind of a detail layer that is a finer line weight. So let me grab a couple of these lines and really most of the inside of the cabinet, you know, showing the edge of these door, drawer faces and our doors and even our little knobs here are going to go kind of on that next lightest layer. which I'm going to put it on the detail layer here. Now we've got these um, this door hinge indicators, so I'm going to put those on the ELEV hinge layer, and that's also a light line weight, and it's also a dashed line weight, so you want to make sure you get that um, the line type assigned, because we don't have line types included in the CAD standards here, but you would want to assign the that layer to one of the dashed line types. Now the toilet is going to go on the elevation plumbing fixture layer. And then I've got this trim line here and I've also got these little um, lines indicating that this is glass. I'm going to put those on the finish layer.
And I do want to show you, actually I should have done this before I started, whoops, I missed these two little lines over here. But I want to show you kind of what a difference it makes. So I'm going to copy this elevation. And I'm going to put everything back on this version of it to layer 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a print of it. Make sure I've got my line weights. Just to show you the difference that the, the uh, line weights make. So I'm just going to go into a preview here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see how you're starting to get the indication of things that are, are cut, things that are edges, versus this elevation, which is really flat looking um, because everything's the same line weight. So again, that's really what we're aiming for when we're doing elevations. We want to get that line weight variation to help us explain what it is that we're drawing. So hopefully that helps, but let me know if you have any questions.